starting off this week's East Coast Link Shot Tournament training with the little male. I don't think anything else is in there. I had it cut up, but I haven't uh, opened it up. Uh, this was a order from Omega Slings. Who isn't ordering from them nowadays? They are the Slingshot Monopoly of our current Slingshot generation. The only reason I need this open is because I'm using a cardboard. I'm going to start with another template I own. Um, oh, I probably gave it away. It is indeed a template, and mine so happens to be signed by... Mikey the man himself, he did that live, so uh, there's video proof, and I got mine for, ooh, you can cut them 130, yeah, 130, 140, 150, 60, 70, uh, 22, 12 to 150, perfect, because I've been cutting their, uh, their Omega Latex, oh, even has a little logo, I don't know if you guys can see that, on the red maybe, I don't know. Do a little Instagram, TikTok thing, you know, as their logo. Alright, thank you guys at Omega Slings. Alright, we're going to cut away to the targets. Alright, so we got a little target set up. Got a tape measure running all the way back. All the way back. Running. 75 feet for a total of 25 yards, just like at East Coast Slingshot Tournament. And then this is our little long distance. I'll be standing right there. And a little long distance training for uh, the tournament, of course. Let's see if I can get that set up. We'll be doing every time. We'll be doing 10 shots on this paper, and then I have another. Uh, paper target I'm going to set up after this. Seven, four, five. Of course, we cut up some Olympus Green Omega Bands with the template. 2212, of course. I think we're running 140 on this one. 130. I really didn't measure it out. So... keep reaching in my pocket and I have the magnet. Two shots. Three. Keep reaching in that pocket. Hey, I'm gonna get your head stuck in the bucket again. That one made a wicked curve. Hopefully we got it on the paper. Hey, get out of the way. Go. Come on, Marshall. Move. Come on. He's such a dodo head, bro. Get. Move. Pretty sure that was the sick shot. It was seven. And I got the wind to my face today, actually. Alright, we're gonna cut the target, evaluate. 
New target set up. All right, we got our new target set up. Standing at 75 feet there. Let's see if we can't get all of them in the black. We just gotta concentrate a little bit more on these guys. The little line is crooked. There it is. Push it back a little bit. Whoa, way low. Gotta warm up the band. You guys see the... Man, I've been shooting at the freaking thing and y'all can't even see it, can you? Where is it? Oh, no. Sorry, I get so worried about the target. There's all that. That little one. I could probably zoom in, but at this distance, the way the camera's set up, it's not going to show either way. Ooh, way low. Holding too long. Give me a sec, guys. I just noticed, though water leak here oh. all right two shots in this is our third one I think we got that one right in the red again so with the uh, TTF long distance I've noticed uh, one you can either come down and fork with just like uh, OTT basically come down and fork with uh, the angles change it launches your ball a little higher generally speaking um, or if you do not want to change your fork with you can bring your face anchor down uh, and that is generally for both TTF or OTT uh, I would say TTF is a little more sensitive to something like that. Uh, that's my humblest of opinions there. Someone might argue with me, and that's okay, you know. Uh, nothing set in stone for slingshots. Downside of manipulating your face anchor is uh, you can become inconsistent because you're, you know, messing around with your setup. But if you know when and where, when to change it, where to change it basically, um, you can do fairly well with something like uh, manipulating your face anchor. I think that was seven. We got two more. Those are eight shot. Oh, three more. I don't know how to count. This will be our final shot. All right, cut to the paper and see how we did. Talking and shooting isn't the best. I think I might have produced 11 shots on this one, but uh, we had that one that I thought we did not hit the paper. We did, and then you have one two and if this looks like two that looks like two so that's why i think we got 11 shots on here but our third shot once we got one two we're climbing up we finally got there with the uh anchor manipulating that i was telling you about and then uh i think the cold was just not letting the bands perform like they should have and it was pulling them all down and the wind even on our other paper was pulling them far right so uh at 25 yards we are getting on that paper so it shouldn't be too much of a struggle. 
uh, where I struggle in terms of East Coast Slingshot Tournament is the woods course. Just those variable uh, distances that you will be shooting at. Uh, and then all the leaves and the depth perception really throws you off. You can think it's one distance and it's com you're completely off, basically. Um, but that's why we are training distance. Uh, hopefully, I can get up to uh, hiking and get up into the woods sometime. Uh, just uh, quite a bit from me to get into the woods. I think that's all for today's video. Nothing much. Forgot to mention, happy Easter to all of you guys.